guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's that frugal chick also known as brielle and today i am back with another video so as you guys know my birthday was this past monday thank you guys for all of the birthday wishes so today is friday y'all i haven't recorded in so long i don't know i feel like i don't have anything like i don't have content so today i'm going to try to come up with ideas and record as much as i can because it's a lot working a full-time job being a full-time mommy and also treating this as a part-time it's a lot i just want to be more consistent but i want to give out good content you guys my birthday was great on sunday we went out to dinner um to texas roadhouse so i finally made it to texas roadhouse it was really nice braylon was really really clingy but that's okay i'm grateful for my baby as i told you guys before and i'm happy that i got to celebrate my birthday with him so my best friend she got me these flowers for my birthday and i'm doing pretty good with them because they're blooming they look really really pretty and then my sister she got me this candle it's from alta you guys i've never had a candle from alta but it says cayman islands and yeah it's from alta and it smells really really good it reminds me of a scent that i've had before it's kind of giving me like deja vu <laughs> but yes my sister did give me this candle i'm not sure how much the Alta candles are but i will definitely be going to get more but yes you guys let's go ahead and get into this video so in today's video we are going to be doing a one week check-in into my cash wallet to see how much we have and basically the plan for the rest of the week until next friday oh and also you guys i want to share with you guys i got this book from five and below it's called hunt gather and parents and um basically it's sharing with you how you know people in different cultures parent and how their children turn out and how we should probably you know take some of the things that they do um as parents and use it on our child because you know in the western culture a lot of times it's basically based on science and what the doctors say but with research you know this is what this person has came up with when she visited another culture in mexico i believe it was so yes you guys i'm reading this book and i want to start reading a book every month at least one book every month so we're gonna see how that goes but um let's see <laughs> tell me you work at the post office without telling me you work at the post office so yes i am on page 50 so i want to finish reading this by the end of the month i am currently reading at work and then trying to read when i get home you know after braylon is put in bed you guys he is starting to stand up like my baby is growing up so so fast and it's just a beautiful thing to experience so yes you guys when i finish this book or you know whenever i record i'll give you guys an update on the book and you know my thoughts and what i've completed and then i'll be sharing you got with you guys all of the books that i have read each month you know whatever but i do want to start incorporating reading into something that i do into a hobby i do enjoy reading i've learned so many new words reading this book and i i plan on writing a list of all the words that i don't know looking up the definition and then using them in a sentence so that i can build up my vocabulary the word that i learned so far is ubiquitous and ubiquitous means it's a widespread of something so that's one of the words that i've learned so ubiquitous that's a new word if you don't know the definition go ahead and look it up i'm just trying to expand my vocabulary so yes and i'm trying not to say things like um like so a lot because i've realized that i do do that i'm trying to get out of that and expand my vocabulary and use different words other than that <laughs> All right, so yes, you guys, this is the book that I am currently reading. And let's go ahead and get into our one week update on the cash wallet. So eating out, I haven't used my Panera gift card yet, but you guys, I'm also going on a no spend 
let me go ahead and get into that so it's a no spin but of course i'm going to take care of all of my responsibilities but during my no spin i'm not eating out and i am not buying any clothing items or any unnecessary items therefore you know it's going to be a low spin to see how much money i can save and i also need to pay off this last student loan so i'm i'm getting very very aggressive with it that's where i'm at with it so that's why i'm going on a no spin this no spin i started on tuesday and it is going to end on i believe i'm going to do a month so a month from tuesday was february 6th so a month is march 6th so yeah let's go ahead and get into it so we have one two three four five dollars left in dining out but of course i told you guys i am on a no spin so hopefully i don't use this then i still have my panera gift card if i do spend money it will be from gift cards and things of that nature so in groceries and household i have a total of five ten fifteen dollars left i'm pretty sure i'll probably have to spend that to get whatever i need for next week and until i get paid giving actually has nothing in it gas has 20 40 61 2 3 4 5 6 66 i do imagine me spending um 20 dollars at the gas station i do need gas like right now and then i will probably have to get more gas next week sometime therefore i think i'll probably have 20 some dollars left over to go into my car maintenance fund sun so sun has you guys i booked braylon's first birthday party it's gonna be at chuck e cheese i went ahead and booked it it was i believe 300 dollars, and i did the 50 dollar deposit to hold it you guys i can't believe he's about to be one i think i might do a budget with me on his birthday shenanigans and what i'm going to be doing how much i plan on spending be on the lookout for that so sun has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i believe that he has some cash inside of his sinking fund envelope that i hold in um my binder he's probably gonna need milk so i will use that for milk and i will use this for milk and then whatever is left over in there for milk me i have 20 40 41 42 43 44 I'm probably not going to spend this money because as you guys know, I am on a no spend. Therefore, this will probably be going towards my student loans, but we're gonna keep it in here just in case. Miscellaneous has $5 in it. I don't intend on spending this unless of course necessary so that is where i'm at on my one week check-in i think we're doing pretty pretty good having some type of money left over is great i do need to continue to eat in and not spend any unnecessary money or money that i don't have in these envelopes you guys it has been challenging but i'm trying to get back on track i believe that Using my credit card kind of makes me spend more money. I'm considering just going back to using the cash in the envelopes to make sure that I have enough and not spend it on my credit card for a little while, but we'll see about that. So yes, you guys, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me and I'll see you guys next time.